In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of in condition exceptions. We're going to use an in condition override to modify the behavior of an in condition solution within a given station range. So you can see in the roadway designer that I have a template drop that's just a simple two lane rural section and I've applied that over the length of my corridor. So if we step through the stations, you can see that there's been a ditch section applied. So let's say for example you want to change the end condition in this tangent section from here to here. It's very simple to do that. Um, what you would need to do is go into corridor in condition exception. So what we're going to be doing is an override and let's just work on the left side. So we're just going to do a left override and let's just for for the sake of an example, let's remove the ditch in this section. So we'll just put in a description there. We'll pick the station range. So we're going to go from the start of the tangent to the end of the tangent and I'll click add. Now once you've added the in condition exception you'll need to go in and edit the in condition exception. So with it highlighted select edit and you can see here the in condition that's being applied here. We're just going to remove this ditch in that station range. So to do this we'll just right click and select add new component end condition and we'll place an end condition here that will represent the situation in cut. I'll just call this cut override and we want it to target the active surface and we'll give that a priority of 1. We'll go into the point here, left override 1 and we're going to make that in condition infinite and we'll give that a slope of negative 25 percent. And close. And let's go ahead and create an in condition now for fill conditions. So we'll add new component, end condition from this point. And now we'll go in and edit the properties. And we'll call this one fill override. Click apply and close. And now we'll edit this point. We'll call this left override 2, set the end condition to infinite and we'll give that a positive 25% slope. The existing end condition here, we can either delete that or just set that to a lower priority so I'll just go ahead and set that to priority 3. Let's go back and check the priority for this one. We need to change that one to 2. So let's just test this to make sure everything is working correctly. It does look like we have some in condition priority conflicts so let's double check what's going on there. We'll check priorities and edit. Looks like I didn't ch save my changes for the ditch so we'll make that three and close and now we can test this and you can see that the ditch has been removed even though it's still present either one or two is going to solve before we ever get to three. So we'll close this and we'll click OK and now we can close out of our in condition exceptions and you can see as we move along we have the ditch and we're moving along the stations here when we reach 
the tangent section, the ditch is removed, as you can see, until we get to the end of the tangent and we go back to the section with the ditch.